I've been promising a more detailed look at the Daimler of Desire. So let's go and get this inspection on. Apologies for the wind noise. It looks quite reasonable from a distance, but then you get closer and you realise that the lacquer is knackered and this plastic looks like it's been back through time and the windscreen is delaminating horribly and that's because it's quite rotten under there um, I'm going to see if I can get the bonnet catch pulled up I'll just for that bit of wind noise uh -oh. I'm just going to fall over oh, that's the mighty AJ6 4 liter engine so yeah, the rot is under this panel here, right at the base of the windscreen. It's really quite bad. Uh, there's also some rot down the back of the engine there. It looks quite exciting. I daren't prod it. So this is a 4 litre engine producing about 219 brake horsepower, I think. Um, we've got... It's like a Citroen system. It's got a sphere to hold brake pressure. Uh, that's the top half of the washer bottle. It plugs into another half down there and the pump is down in that bottom half and it doesn't work and I'm not really sure what I can do about that um, otherwise uh, I've got a bit of rock creeping in here but I'm hoping that's going to be okay over on the other side got this lovely welding I mean it looks nice and solid to be fair but um, yeah you, you can't really call that a colour match more engine doings over this side. That'll be all your intake stuff. Um, I've got an aero blade on here. It's horrible. Right. Oh, yummy. That'll be crunchy rust. Let's take a dive in. I've got that in there because that tyre keeps going flat. Which is a shame because it's a Pirelli P4000 in quite decent condition. So, being a Daimler, We've got many poshes. Look at that. We've got electric seats. Uh, it's very nice. And heated, of course. Um, obviously got little um, ashtrays tucked away in there. Uh, the wood isn't all in perfect condition, which is a shame, because you'll see it's this lovely inlaid walnut. I think it's walnut. It's burr something or other. I mean, it's so shiny you can see me in it. Hello. And you've got this little in lay section as well. It's very, very nice. So a nose in the glove box where we've got a remote boot release and a lambda sensor because the lambda sensor has gone but it's kind of underneath there all the way down on the outside and I can't be doing, we're trying to get at that at the moment. Uh, stupidly, look how nasty that is, nasty little clip. You've got a mirror here which doesn't actually go up high enough to show your face also feels really nasty uh, more knackered veneer here the famous J gate gearbox so you've got your PRND traditional on that side but then you slide it across so you've got two drive positions and then you can go back down the gearbox uh, works quite well um, cassette player but unfortunately I haven't got the code for it it isn't half past four in the morning uh, I would be asleep then these are my lovely heat controls, none of which work. Is there anything else I can realistically show you? I've got a fuse box in here, and it um, strikes me as a very strange place to put a fuse box. And we seem to have more covers than there are fuse boxes. It's like confusing. Also, all the seatbelt buckles are broken. But as they still function, that's still an MOT pass. Aha! They would be useful because I need a side... Uh, indicator bulb replacing the problem is it's stuck in place uh, up here aha there we go more knackered veneer uh, interior lights the map reading light sadly doesn't work might have to try and find out how to change that this is a sunroof button it only goes back and forth but this bit stops it going all the way back so you don't get buffeted um, in the rear not a massive amount of leg room but comfortable enough uh, there's a box here that's got a sunroof panel in it, because that one's rotten. Um, we've got very nice grab handles. Uh, oh, I think we need to take a proper look at the back. Let's go and do that. Alright, 
Good job, sunroof. I'm going to jump into the back. Uh, we've got service history, books, um, ballpoint pen. Oh, mod cons. So, yeah, it is a bit tight here in the back. Uh, not the most amount of room. Just close that for maximum serenity. Uh, but we have got the picnic tables. Look at that. That's some good quality right there. Mm. Oh, and we've got these. Don't do that if someone's driving along. They'll get very annoyed. But that's just so you can hold on when your driver is hooning. But look at that. It's quality. Or it was quality once. And oh, I've just noticed that the, um, the headliner entirely stuck to the roof. Um, but I'll be able to bodge that with bits of wood or something across there. Job's a good one. Right, to the driver's seat. Just before we go in, there is the crusty sunroof. That's why it's being replaced. Hmm, interesting. Not sure what that is. Anyway, let's get in. Whoa. Right, so here we are aboard. We've even got wood um, in the binnacles. Look at that. Posh. Um, and a few gauges. We've got some switch gear down here. Slightly random light switch. Uh, column stalks, but you know, bearing in mind I hold the wheel up here. That, that, that's not useful. I don't hold the wheel down here, so I don't like that. Uh, extra padding because Daimler. And um, we've got the computer down here. So VCM is vehicle check module. And uh, it allows you to get various things up on the display. And if I've actually got the key, that would have been a great bit of planning, wouldn't it? We can experience that for ourselves. Oh, I need to wiggle the steering wheel. Um, hold on. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Woohoo! Look at that disco fever! Uh, that, that's just all checks. And um, if I press the VCM, fail 44 on the fuel. Uh, that that's the lambda sensor. That's why I have a replacement. You can just hear that buzzing in the background. That was that accumulator sphere building the pressure up. Uh, so there we go. Um, I can do average fuel consumption. Um, I'm not using any uh, instant fuel consumption. I do 99 to the gallon. I can look at how much fuel I've used. I think I've used more than that. Average speed, range, distance. None of these are showing anything even slightly interesting. Clear. Haha. -ha. There we go. So I can change that to kilometres. And that doesn't change at all. That's exciting. Uh, not very much fuel because it drinks quite a lot of fuel. Um, let's start her up. It does make some very interesting noises. So let's try the VCM again. So now it's telling me that the pads are low, which I think is because the wires aren't connected. And fuse one is low. Um, I'm not sure if I can get into the fuse box without tools. Um, oh no, I think I'm in. Here is the fuse box. Check that out. I've no idea what's going on there. But that fuse is the one that was for the heater. So I think I can see why the heater doesn't work. Um, lovely build quality there. I think that's had hard days. And here's the utterly confusing cruise control. Um, so that's turning it on, but then you set it by pressing this button on the side, um, which isn't even very easy to see. Um, there's a light, I don't know what that button does. Seemingly nothing. So another MOT issue I have is that the washers aren't working. Uh, I've, I've managed to trace it as far as the pump. Um, while well, trying to get things working, but I ended up looking at that. But I'm going to pretend that's not there. Um, let's clear that. Here it's stumbling a bit. That's um, yeah, I did this the other day. It sounds happy enough, I think. But anyway, um, there you go. That's kind of a talk. That's the warning light sub cut. Oh, that's kind of a bit crappy. Oh, we did this yesterday. And I think the best thing to do is to turn the engine off and go back in the house and pretend it hasn't just done that. Um, 
I don't know if it's flooding um, because it hasn't done much noise. It's just been running about on the driveway or what it is. But yeah, I'm going to run away. But anyway, thank you for watching this really rather lame video of me just walking around my car. Um, maybe I'll try and get better at doing it. See you again. Ta-ta.